Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video, and this time I bought this uh, PS2. Actually, I uh, removed the front lid there. I was actually going to do one of these hard drive mods, and um, unfortunately um, the power supply was cactus on this guy. So I needed to purchase a replacement, which ended up costing me about 10 bucks. and you can see here it says console, power supply, etc, etc. And anyway, yeah, so about 10 bucks later and a couple weeks for that to ship via the snail mail, I got the replacement power supply. Uh, just to test this unit, what I actually did was I soldered, uh, I desoldered the connectors from the old power supply, and I soldered this thick gauge wire to it because it's, uh, it's 12 volts, but it's pretty high current. So I actually tested this using the power supply from my 3D printer, and the PS2 itself works perfectly. Um... So it's in pretty good nick. Uh, the only real issue was um, the internal supply was cactus. So anyway, let's just get into this. I'm going to do a quick uh, swap out. I'm going to remove this wire, put the old supply back or the new supply in place of it and give it a quick test. I have an internal IDE drive in here right now and it came with this uh, network adapter adapter. So I'm going to see about loading that up with some games, but let's get uh, the the package open for this guy, all removed from its styrofoam coffin, and it looks like this is a aftermarket. Obviously, you're not really going to get replacement ones, uh, brand new replacement OEM units, and hopefully this is the correct connector and everything. It looks similar. It looks almost identical, actually, from what I remember. So, yeah, I actually did a little debugging. I was going to make a video on the uh, original supply. And it ended up that, um, I don't know what went wrong, but on the output side, um, multiple things failed. So the input uh, FAT drive to the primary side of the uh, transformer failed. And I believe the output diode rectification, so near the output side, um, there's uh, two diodes in parallel. One of them failed shorted to dead short. And I think there's something wrong with the opto too. So some catastrophic failure happened and it ended up taking out the input fuse. And so, um, you know, the first thing I did was check the fuse. Oh, that was blown. Then I measured across the uh, DC link and there's pretty much a dead short on that. So I knew that that was uh, no bueno. But anyway, uh, this guy was pretty cheap. So instead of messing around trying to fix a dead supply, let's uh, see if we can get this guy open. Okay, so I made a bit of a rookie mistake. You actually don't need to take off uh, the bottom. Uh, you just need to basically undo some of these side screws, and then you can get into the unit. So let me put this part back on so it'll be nice and safe. At least get it back in the shell. Okay, so you're just going to have to do the bottom screws again uh, once I'm done. But yeah, I really only need to take off this top portion here. Be careful, the uh, front... Uh, power and uh, you know the eject buttons are still attached so I'm just gonna shift this to the side so I don't have to undo that cable now you can see what I did exactly I just removed uh, this cable right here and this was actually kind of slightly loose I was a little disconcerting um, so we can just remove that don't need this wire anymore not going to be using an external supply just going to inspect all the solder joints. Uh, I'm not too happy about those joints. I don't know what the heck is going on there. Um, I'm just going to reflow them with my iron. And everything else looks okay. Uh, these joints are kind of a bit dull. So maybe they used uh, lead free or some other crap. Um, so I'm just going to kind of hit this with the iron and make sure that every there's no cold joints or anything. So give me a sec before I install this and then find out that there's a problem. <laughs> okay, I touched up the solder joints. They look okay now. So let's just uh, remove a couple of screws that are needed to mount this guy on, which luckily I saved. Ah, oh, crap. I'm an idiot. <laughs> 
Okay, holy crap, that was really annoying. Okay, note to self and note to everyone. When you're taking out this screw in the back corner, there's a gaping hole where the fan kind of is and whatnot around that area. If you drop the screw down there, it's going to roll around and like under the main PCB and it's going to be impossible to get without taking apart like everything. So I just did that just to get this damn screw back. Okay. So anyway, let's uh, just put this PCB on. And it should just kind of fit. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was like one of the most annoying things in the world. Okay, so we're all back together pretty much. Just a matter of screwing everything kind of back together again, making sure that uh, the ribbon does not interfere with it shutting. To fit it over the controller ports first though. Oh, actually, and yeah, there we go. Okay, then we just screw everything back together. Okay, and of course it would not be a repair without a small blood sacrifice, so there's that. Anyway, and let's uh, grab a power cord and see if this turns on. I've already confirmed that video works and everything, and I didn't mess with anything else. Might as well plug in the hard drive, too. Why not? Okay, so we're all back together. Let's, uh, I have it plugged in. Let's see if it works. Power on the back on. Red light comes on. Good. Turn this on, hear the drive go off, hear the hard drive spin up, and let's eject. Yeah, this belt I think is maybe uh, getting a bit stretched out, so I might have to replace that because it's a bit slower than I'd expect, especially when it, well, it's okay for now, but definitely want to look into replacing that soon. Anyway, yeah, it all works. Um, I've already tested the uh, laser in this. It actually came with a Madden game, and I, I tested that out. It does actually run. It, it uh, gets to the title screen, so I know that it's uh, reading disk just fine. I'm going to probably end up, uh, what is it, the FMB, whatever, the the memory card hack that they have. I'm going to install this soft mod it and uh, load some games onto the internal hard drive and play them that way. Uh, so, yeah, this will be sort of pretty neat. So yeah, everything works. Um, let this stress test, I'll probably just like boot up um, a game and have it run like the uh, title screen animation loop for like an hour or something just to make sure that the hard drive's okay, or not the hard drive, the power supply's okay, not getting warm. Uh, air in the back is actually pretty cool. It's just sitting at the, the title menu, so yeah. Um, that's not exactly stressing it out, but I'm gonna do some gameplay and whatnot testing on this, make sure that's all okay before uh, giving it the official okay. Got to find this faceplate too and put it back in there. Anyway, um, I'll probably make separate videos for when I actually do soft mod this guy. And until then, I'll see you guys later.